Want to see more cool videos on our channel? We do, so press this bell and enable to send notifications. It's time to face the facts. You'll have to admit that you had this idea more than once when you went to school. Indeed, it is just unbearable. Those desks, early wake-ups, blackboards, chalk, corridors, homework, and then all over again. Desk, chalk, blackboards for as long as 10 years. It's not just they don't want to learn. It's just the way they're taught doesn't always work. But what if I told you that there are some unique schools in the world that are actually cool, really cool in fact? Don't believe me? Well, prepare to be amazed by these seven coolest schools which you would like to receive at least an ordinary mail invitation from, if not from an owl. Number seven, Oristad Gymnasium. While most schools are stuck in time about a couple of decades ago, Oristad Gymnasium is the living proof of the fact that the future is already here. The Danish College, which was awarded the best building in Scandinavia in 2007, is a space without boundaries, meaning there are no boundaries at all. Open academic areas are located at several levels around the central spiral stairway in an atrium, within the area of 12,000 square meters. This design has been combined with the use of wireless internet and laptops by all students in order to create a virtual gymnasium. Everything is designed and enabled to open communication and progress for everyone, while academic programs are divided into three groups, social, natural, and linguistic. Number 6. Burgess High School Burgess High School was essentially a social experiment run by headmaster James East. A Cambridge education had him convinced that children must first find themselves before they can or will actively delve themselves into their education. That's why this private school in the 60s let students as young as 12 do pretty much anything they wanted. Cigarettes were frequently passed around in classes. Boys tour through the campus on dirt bikes, with helmets being optional. There was even a dog who frequented the cafeteria looking for handouts. If they wanted to skip a class, so what? They did. The idea was that if you told kids not to do something, it was just going to make them want to do it 10 times more. By allowing them to experiment in a safe place, kids would be more likely to come to their education on their own terms or get themselves killed jumping off a tree, whatever came first. Unsurprisingly, this little experiment didn't last. The school was eventually shut down. Number 5. Trabajo Ya What is your first association with the phrase? You might think of addicted proletarian at the beginning of the last century or an ordinary sales manager. In fact, it is how the name of a school in Spain, Trabajo Ya, is translated, and it deals with sex trade. Schoolgirls in Valencia are offered a basic course of effective prostitution and manipulating men. Oh, don't make a wry face or look the other way. The oldest profession is legal in Spain, and the approach to educate is entirely professional. Girls received both theoretical and practical knowledge, including the history and evolution of the profession. In spite of all its nuances, you don't have to go to school for 10 years. Basic training for a fornicatress takes only a week. Number 4. Forest Kindergarten If you're the parent of a budding 5-year-old, you've probably already realized that kindergarten has become the new first grade. Long recesses and learning through play are being replaced by 6-hour days sitting at a desk. But at Forest Kindergarten, Exploration set the pace for learning rather than unrealistic academic goals. Children eat, play, and even nap outdoors in all kinds of weather from sunshine to snow. If they want to climb a tree, they do. If they want to play in that puddle, they will. Teachers are there to keep kids safe and facilitate. It might sound like chaos, but building a shelter teaches teamwork and preservation while fashioning toys and tools from woodland items fosters creativity as well as strategy. Plus, nature is full of math and science for early learners. How many snails are on that tree? Why do you think they want to eat these leaves more than those ones? The potential is endless. Number 3. LaGuardia High School Okay, so you've got it all planned out. You're going to be an actor or an actress, or maybe even a director or a singer something to do with the visual or performing arts. If you happen to live in New York City, then you don't have to try and convince your parents to let you drop out of high school to achieve your dream. LaGuardia High School is an amazing program, 
and one of only nine specialized schools in the whole state funded by the New York legislature. At LaGuardia, kids get the same education they would at any other school, but there's the added requirement of some sort of visual or performance-based major, basically. Since the school is state-funded, it's free to attend for nice students. However, spots are limited and admission is based on an exceedingly competitive audition process. If you can get in though, it's one of the best visual and performing arts schools in at least the state, if not the whole country. Just look at the school's alumni list and you'll see that it's a school experience that creates stars. Number 2. All-Female Traveling School Usually, students have to wait until college to enjoy the life-altering experience of a semester abroad. But the mission of the traveling school is to give young women aged 15 to 18 a chance to see the world and grow into culturally sensitive, globally aware leaders. The school has a 4 to 1 student-teacher ratio and accepts only 16 students at a time. These lucky few will travel with four full-time teachers to another country and live there for the next 15 weeks. While that can be a huge deal for some 15-year-olds or even your average 18-year-old, the girls get to experience things most of us can only dream of, visiting places like Africa and India. They go out, explore, and immerse themselves in the culture. But this experience of a lifetime isn't exactly free. This exclusive program costs somewhere around $27,000, and that can definitely cut out students in less fortunate financial situations, even with the fact that financial aid is available for those who qualify. Number 1. Which School? No, I'm not talking about Hogwarts. This isn't some fairy tale fantasy genre creation. Which school is a real thing? Seriously, is that cool or what? Just don't expect to learn how to levitate a feather, because this school adopts a pagan based learning program with mostly online classes and two real life in person campuses in Chicago, Illinois, and get this Salem, Massachusetts. Now, as you can imagine, the school has faced its fair share of controversy and resistance from the general public. But come on, you can take classes on Wiccan and pagan philosophies, actual magical traditions, and gain a better understanding of the religions themselves. It might not be learning how to transform your body into a tabby cat, and you're probably not going to be sending any letters out on the leg of an owl, but you've got to admit, which school is pretty cool. Thank you for watching, and if you enjoyed the video, please let me know by clicking the like button. Do share, write a comment, and don't forget to subscribe so that you can catch up my next video.